Suzanne Shaw and Rafferty are going to talk about, to us about hypnobirthing because Rafi is a hypnobirthing baby. So it will be really interesting to find out from Suzanne what her experience of hypnobirthing is. So could you tell me what you thought about it before you even did it? And somebody said this word. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you automatically think, hey, hey, you yeah. think, oh, it's going to be a little bit out of what I'm about and um, and didn't really understand um, exactly the whole process of, of what it would be and how much it would help. So I kind of went in uh, a little bit blinkered and um, had my opinions about it. So I think most people do. Yeah. Quite yeah. rightly. Well, yeah, exactly. Quite rightly. If you don't know about something, you know, um, you could judge a book by Yes. And how did you find it? Um, I found the whole hypnobirthing um, incredible experience. So much so, I think it's completely changed my outlook on life now and how I approach life and, and what kind of mother I am. Um, before I was quite a stressed out mother and quite neurotic um, <laughs> and paranoid. Uh, um, and now I think the positive way of approaching things um, and the way I approached my birth experience this time round has made me approach life differently now um, because it was an absolutely incredible experience and a completely different one to the first time round. So tell me about the, Rafi's birth. Rafi's birth um, <laughs> was brilliant. Um, I gave birth here <laughs> in Wonderful. this very room. With a pool? With a pool. Mm -hmm. um, the birthing pool was fantastic. Um, so the combination of the hypnobirthing and the birthing pool um, was medication enough. Um, I was in active labour for seven hours, um, uh, six, five of those hours, five and a half hours, uh, uh, five and a half of those hours, um, I could say it was close to pain free, mm -hmm. um, and then the last hour when I needed to start pushing really, was possibly when I felt yeah, this, this, this obviously is like this is this is giving birth. But because I'd prepared myself and got into the whole, um, my my breathing was in the right place, my mind was in the right place, my thought process was in the right place. I just kind of went with it. Um, so it, it was it was an incredible experience. And then afterwards, I just felt this overwhelming feeling of empowerment and, <laughs> and the fact that I could just dance on the roof and think, you know, I could actually do anything. I am a superhero. Now <laughs> 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 you have a superhero for a mum. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, and I think, I think that was the start of my new journey in life now, is the fact that I felt so empowered, the fact that I achieved something that I would never have thought I would have been able to do you without really before you? Yeah, I, I had the whole medication package um, with my first son, Corey. Um, so to think, and that was painful, that was a painful process, and to mm. think I'm actually going in this without any pain relief um, in my own home. Um, but it was fair if you'd wanted to. Would have had yeah, well, that, that's the thing. Yeah, we did have backup. We had the pethidin as well. Um, and everything was there um, if I if I wanted it. And yeah, I. Uh, but you didn't need it. No, no. <laughs> no, brilliant. I didn't. <laughs> so, what do you think it was about KG hip birthing that got you to this point? I think um, just that practicing, I think. I think practicing um, the whole KG technique, um, using the CDs, um, going on my magic carpet ride on a daily <laughs> basis. Um, it, it's all about putting yourself in the right frame of mind, positive thinking, visualizing, affirmating, um, and just believing that it is actually possible. Um, and practicing that on a daily basis because it, it you know it doesn't come naturally. You do have to practice. You don't just suddenly. Yeah, that's the important thing. Yeah, you don't just suddenly wake up and go, oh, I'm going to be able to do this. Um, yeah. If I just, you know, you you have to strengthen the mind. Yeah. Um, it's like a muscle. Any kind of thing, you have to strengthen it. Um, and the more you strengthen it, I think the better the result um, would will be. 
So um, I just think the practice, uh, the technique in itself, uh, the, the meditation, um, uh, relaxing and um, uh, just thinking positively. Yeah. I mean, teaching the, the, just even the stickers that I put all around me um, <laughs> to think positively and then look at those. If I, if I felt myself slipping away, I would look at one of my empowerment slips that I had to all over here. Wow. Um, and it would help me focus and go, yes, I, I, can, I can do this. But you're right, it is life skills which yeah. happen to be focused towards birth. Yes. On that occasion, and then they're with you forever, aren't they? They are, they are. That, for me, it's not just a one day gig, AG no. hypnobirthing, it's, it's a change, it changes your life. And um, you're there with you on stage. Yeah, it, it is. You can, you can put it into practice in anything. It's the great form of, of meditation, uh, believing anything is possible, and um, really truly focusing, and, 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 and uh, you know, you affirm that. It's. It's incredible, and I've got a real chilled out little dude here who sleeps through, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is often what they say about it. But yeah, he is. yeah, he is really chilled out and relaxed. And considering he's got colic as well, you know, mm. he does have he does suffer with colic, but yet when his belly's fine in a good place, this is what he's like. Yeah. So, highly recommend it. Thank you very much.